Hello, I am Alberto Loarte. I work in the Fusions and Technology Department and I am uh, in charge of confinement issues for ITER. What uh, we do is we, with the external coils we have in all tokamaks, uh, like ITER, we create a magnetic plasma current. By doing so, then uh, we create the plasma and to th then we apply the heating methods and we increase the energy of the plasma. Then at some point in the discharge, uh, when the power we inject is high enough, the, there is a, an improvement of the containment of the energy of the plasma, which is called the H-mode. And in this way, the, the amount of energy that is contained in the plasma increases typically by a factor of two. There are uh, um, periodic releases of energy, which are called ELMS. And uh, these ELMS uh, are a phenomena that was discovered when this high confinement regime was discovered and they are analogous of the type like a solar flare. And it looks like, a, let's say in an analogy, it's like a, if you could have a, a pressure cooker or a balloon which inflates, and then at some point you have some release valves, and when the pressure of this, of this uh, gas in the balloon or, in, or the plasma in the tokamaks exceeds a given value, you have a release of energy. So the effect of the elms on the, on the materials that protect the vacuum vessel in ITER are mainly due to the overheating. The, the material gets a, a large energy flux in a very short time and the surface, the temperature of the surface goes up. Typically thousands of degrees Celsius. This has uh, for it two consequences. One is that, uh, of course, the material is eroded, is evaporated and you lose material. And because we expect to have uh, uh, many of thousands of these events per discharge in, in ITER, the accumulated erosion is large. So we would need to replace the components with a higher frequency than we plan. And the other one is that impurities come into the plasma and they contaminate the plasma. In order to operate ITER in a reliable way, you have to make sure that the energy fluxes that arrive to the, to the components inside the machine are such that they don't increase the temperature very much. And in ITER, this is, uh, there are two uh, schemes that are being implemented in the design to do, to do this. One is uh, to uh, trigger these events at will, instead of uh, relying on their natural triggering by the by the pressure exceeding a limit, and this we do with the injection of uh, frozen pellets of, of the deuterium into the plasma. What we do is we create an overpressure, very small overpressure, and this leads to a small release. The objective is to decrease the, the energy that the, the size of the energy that the plasma loses by a factor of 20 with this pellet injector, and the other one is to perturb the magnetic field at the edge with uh, internal coils so that we open a sort of escape, uh, escape for the plasma energy and instead of the pressure or the energy growing and relaxing with ELMS, what we do is we try to self-control this rise and stay under the limit. In this way you just suppress completely the ELMS. One of the things we have learned uh, in the last few years is that the control of ELMS has actually become a key issue for the achievement of the Q equal 10 goal. 